going on everybody? It's your boy Daryl again. And if you have taken the time to subscribe to my channel and share it with someone, I really appreciate it. Like I said before, this is a journey that I'm going on and I'm gonna ask you to come along with me. And as the Holy Spirit encourages me to grow, I'm going to encourage you to grow. The title of today's video is What is Real Success? I can comfortably say that many of you who are watching this video have tried to achieve some level of success in many areas of your life. And in that desire to achieve success, we've tried different ways to try to do it. They have an entire industry devoted to motivate people and encourage people to be successful. They say things along the line of, put your best foot forward, always keep learning, try to achieve professional excellence. Be committed. Always think positive. Change your current perspective to look like what you want in the future and to remove all unnecessary distractions that keeps you from a level of success. But before you can look at success, I'm going to ask you a question. What is success to you? Is success having money? Is success status? Is success having other people wanting to be like you? Is success having the nicest car, the biggest house? Is success being famous? Is success achieving your goals to get whatever you want? And why does success matter to you? Well, before we can answer those questions, follow me to the Word of God, to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, and the Word of God reads, I do all this for the sake of the gospel, that I may share in its blessings. When Paul wrote this to the church in Corinth, he also explained to them that he will do whatever it takes to appeal to everyone so they can share in the same blessing. As followers of Christ, this is our why. Our why is developed because of the gospel. We do everything for the sake of the gospel, to spread the good news about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As a follower of Christ, the why shapes everything in our entire lives. It shows us who we are. It points us to our purpose. It shows us how to love other people. And it shows other people who we truly belong to. As a Christian, real success is obedience to God, empowered by the Holy Spirit, to do his will and that is the advancement of his kingdom to let everyone know about the work of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Real success starts by being obedient to our Heavenly Father which leads to repentance. Yeah we're not perfect and many times we fall short of God's glory but being obedient to God should lead us to repent for our sins so we can come back in the right relationship with our Heavenly Father and in doing that we follow Jesus Christ in all areas of our lives. Unfortunately today many people are striving for success and they're working themselves to death for the wrong reasons. If you're out in the world and you feel like that rat on that wheel chasing that cheese and you're staying in the same place just spinning your wheels over and over and over again, I challenge you to look at your why. Because as a follower of Christ, our why will always point us to a direction of success. So if we follow God in every aspect of our lives, it will lead us to success. That is a promise of Him and He's left for all those who believe in His Son. I'm going to leave y'all with some wisdom that King Solomon got from his father King David. So follow me to the word of God to Proverbs chapter 3 verses 1 through 4 and the word of God reads, My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For the length of the days and years of life and peace they will add to you. Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart so you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. In majority of King Solomon's life, he obeyed his father David in doing these. And like many of us, he fell short and made mistakes, but he repented for his sins. In all King Solomon's greatness, he didn't ask God for riches. He didn't ask God for wealth. He didn't ask God to give him the power to conquer 
other nations. He asked God for wisdom and discernment to be able to lead the people of Israel. And when you ask for God for things as humble as that, he will bless you with so much more because he can trust you to do his will. We all have access to these same blessings. We all have access to this level of success. If this has blessed you in any way, give glory to our Heavenly Father. Because as I grow, I'm going to ask you to grow. And together, we can spread the gospel to everyone who needs to hear it and be a blessing to those in the world that we live in. I thank you for following me today, and I hope you have a blessed day.